Australia is known for its mysterious creatures and diverse culture. It's no wonder that the country has become a source of eerie discoveries and creatures that have been around for centuries. Here are some unsettling things recently found in Australia that contribute to the fear of its residents. The Colossal Diprotodon Imagine encountering a creature so big that kangaroos seem tiny. Apparently, millions of years ago, that wasn't science fiction, but a reality in Australia, thanks to the awe-inspiring Diprotodon. This giant marsupial stood over 2 metres tall and weighed a whopping 2.5 tonnes, resembling a heavily built wombat with a short body, tail and thick legs. It's incredible that a relative of koalas could be as big as a car. Australia has always been a land of strange creatures, and the Diprotodon is a perfect example. These gentle giants were 200 times bigger than their modern relatives, the wombat and koala. Even though they likely ate just grass and shrubs, their size was impactful. A single Diprotodon could eat 150 kilograms of plants each day. That's 100 times more than a human. Despite their size, these social creatures preferred flat areas near water. Their limited mobility made them vulnerable, but their size offered some protection. They were likely timid and avoided predators like Tasmanian wolves and crocodiles. Amazingly, evidence suggests Aboriginal Australians lived alongside these giants peacefully. The Diprotodon's likely herbivore diet and gentle nature might have allowed for a harmonious relationship. The Diprotodon's reign eventually ended, leaving only fossils as a reminder of this bygone era. Whether or not these giants interacted with humans is a mystery that scientists are trying to solve. The Diprotodon's story continues to fascinate people. Its size, unique adaptations and potential interactions with early humans paints a picture of a lost world. As research continues, we may one day unlock the secrets behind this magnificent marsupial giant. Trapped in Amber In 2020, a team of paleontologists from Monash University in Melbourne made a groundbreaking discovery during their excavations in Australia. They unearthed some of the oldest fossils ever found in the country, and one particularly astonishing find left the scientists amazed. The team uncovered a piece of amber with a rare composition, and within it were the remarkably preserved remains of mating flies, estimated by some to be around 40 million years old. Amber, known for its exceptional ability to preserve organisms trapped inside it, is considered quite rare in Australia. Therefore, the excavation results not only surprised researchers with the discovery of the ancient flies, but also revealed thousands of hidden stones underground. Apart from the flies, other well-preserved organisms were found in the amber, providing valuable insights into Australia's ecosystem and offering an opportunity to study the insects that inhabited the region some apparently 40 million years ago. Australia's terrifying titan a recent fossil discovery has unveiled an astonishingly large trapdoor spider, instilling potential fear in arachnophobiacs due to its hand-sized dimensions. This significant finding is only the fourth fossilized arachnid ever found in Australia, named Megamonodon McCluskey in honor of its discoverer, Dr. Simon McCluskey. Dating back supposedly 11 to 16 million years to the Neogene period, this giant spider is the second largest of its kind globally exceeding current species by five times in size. Despite its seemingly modest dimensions, with a body diameter of about 2.5 cm and leg length around 5 cm, these are substantial for a spider. The fossil sheds light on Australia's past, indicating a shift from dense tropical forests to deserts supposedly around 15 million years ago, leading to the disappearance of species like Megamonodon. The challenge of finding fossilized trapdoor spiders persists due to their burrowing habits, making suitable conditions for fossilization rare. Min Min Lights In the remote areas of Australia, an unexplained phenomenon has left observers puzzled and at times frightened. Mysterious glowing orbs suddenly appear at night, hovering in the air before individuals, both enchanting and causing simultaneous apprehension. In Queensland, the Boulia Shire Council alerts visitors that they may witness the Min Min lights along the highway at night, describing them as captivating orbs that swiftly change color and movement, sometimes disappearing without a trace. Scientists have proposed various theories to unravel the mystery of the Min Min lights, 
Some suggest it could be a natural phenomenon akin to a mirage, where light is refracted, while others believe the glowing orbs occur between layers of air with different temperatures. More unconventional explanations involve luminescent insects or phosphorescent gases creating the effect. However, these remain hypotheses as science has yet to provide a definitive answer. The Min Min lights have become woven into Aboriginal legends and stories, with indigenous people treating them with respect, considering the lights as the spirits of elders caring for the country and its prosperity. The Thorny Devil The Thorny Dragon, Devil or Moloch Horridus Moloch, all monikers for a diminutive lizard belonging to the Agamid family, thrives in the sandy deserts of Western and Central Australia. The Thorny Devil stands out as one of the most whimsical and intriguing creatures on the continent, cloaked from head to toe in an armour of intimidating spikes crucial for its survival in the harsh desert environs. In a perpetual quest for sustenance and hydration, the Thorny Devil employs a fascinating tactic. It adeptly collects rainwater and dew, channeling it from its skin directly into its mouth. The Moloch's distinctive features, its harmless demeanor, and leisurely pace make it a charming and unconventional creature that sparks admiration and curiosity. Notably, the spikes on its head, unlike the others, are fortified with bones. The lizard's coloration, adorned with goldish-brown spots, aids in camouflage, and its neck boasts a pillow-like growth that streamlines the process of collecting, storing, and transporting water to its mouth more efficiently. As a strictly ant-eating species, the thorny devil poses no threat to humans, further contributing to its unique charm and peaceful coexistence in the Australian deserts. The platypus captivates with its distinctive appearance, leaving Europeans encountering this aquatic mammal initially in disbelief due to its seemingly deceptive combination of features from various animals. Challenging conventional classifications, the platypus enchants a broader audience, from wildlife enthusiasts and photographers to scientists studying living organisms. This remarkable creature, residing in Australia, lays several eggs, showcasing a rapid reproductive cycle with embryos maturing in just about 10 days. The platypus's notable feature is its duck-like bill, incredibly sensitive to touch and equipped with special receptors for detecting prey's electrical signals while feeding in water. Diverging from typical mammalian anatomy, platypuses lack a stomach, employing horned jaws to grind food, facilitating efficient digestion. An intriguing aspect is the platypus's venomous nature, possessing rudimentary horn spurs on its hind legs. While the venom is not lethal to humans, it can induce swelling and severe pain. Found relatively easily in the wild, encountering a platypus became widely known only in 2013 when biologists successfully spotted and studied this fascinating creature. Neon Giants of the Volcano Nestled atop an extinct volcano in northern New South Wales, the summit of Mount Caputa harbors a surprising spectacle, bright pink slugs. These fluorescent slugs, reaching lengths of 20 centimeters, lead secluded lives, camouflaging in the alpine forest. Preserving remnants of Australia's geological past, this forest thrived due to Mount Caputa's eruption apparently 17 million years ago, maintaining a cooler, more humid climate. The bright pink slugs, along with the hairy and cannibal snails, thrive in their surroundings, utilizing their unique color to evade predators. Despite bushfires threatening their habitat in 2019, these non-poisonous creatures survived by seeking refuge in rock crevices. This vibrant ecosystem stands as a testament to the resilience of Australia's diverse and extraordinary wildlife. The Oiga Worm Australia indeed harbors remarkable creatures, and the giant Gippsland earthworm is no exception. Discovered in 1878 in Gippsland, Victoria, this colossal earthworm, belonging to the Megasculicidae family, can reach lengths from 0.8 to an astonishing 3 meters. Initially mistaken for a giant snake by rail workers, its uniqueness landed it in the pages of Australian zoological literature after experts examined it in Melbourne. Endemic to the Bass River region, the giant Gippsland earthworm is harmless to humans, attracting attention not just for its size but also its distinctive habits. Living underground, it surfaces during heavy rains. Remarkably, it produces gurgling sounds. Hermaphroditic and with a lifespan of 10 to 12 years, these giants reproduce cautiously, laying only one egg cocoon annually. 
Unfortunately, agriculture and chemicals have limited their habitat to a mere 400 square kilometres in southern Australia. Ecologists advocate for soil conservation to safeguard these giants from extinction, emphasising their ecological significance beyond being a biological exhibit. Fungus strikes gold Fungi, often a culinary delight or a source of ailments, took a fascinating turn in Western Australia in 2019. Researchers stumbled upon a fungus, Fusarium oxysporum, bedecked with gold, marking a unique discovery. This fungus not only stores but attracts gold particles from its surroundings through a mysterious chemical reaction involving superoxide. While the exact reasons for this interaction remain unclear, scientists speculate it might provide an evolutionary advantage, with practical experiments showing that gold-coated fungi grow larger and faster than their counterparts without gold interaction. The implications of this discovery go beyond aesthetics. It suggested that such fungi could serve as indicators of gold deposits underground. Although unproven, researchers envision a potential revival of Australia's dwindling gold mining industry, presenting an intriguing chapter in the relationship between microorganisms and precious metals. One plant, a forest below. In the pristine waters along the Western Australia coast, scientists have made an astonishing discovery, the world's largest plant, an extensive underwater expanse of seagrass named Posidonia australis. Evolutionary biologists from the University of Western Australia, intrigued by the genetic diversity of seagrasses in Shark Bay, aimed to decode their genomes for both scientific understanding and species restoration. Analyzing samples from various bay areas with 18,000 DNA markers, they uncovered an unexpected revelation. The vast 180-kilometer underwater meadow is a single plant, now recognized as a protected cultural heritage, estimated to be over 4,500 years old. This extraordinary colony exhibits polyploidy, doubling the usual number of chromosomes found in regular plants due to hybridization. While such plants are typically sterile, this colossal underwater meadow shows adaptability, revealing minor genetic variations within the colony that indicate its resilience in the face of environmental changes. The Mary River Turtle In southeast Queensland's vibrant rivers, a unique short-necked turtle with intelligent eyes and a distinctive green algae mohawk resides. Its appearance, including a tail that can be two-thirds the length of the shell, provides effective camouflage against predators. The Merry River Turtle, a member of an ancient reptile lineage supposedly diverging over 40 million years ago, possesses a special respiratory system, breathing through glands in the cloaca. Despite its remarkable features, this turtle faces threats such as water pollution, illegal pet trade, and habitat degradation, putting it at risk of extinction. Preserving this extraordinary species is vital not only for its survival, but also to protect the ancient reptile lineage and maintain the river's ecosystem. Australia's Yeti If a time machine were real, many would eagerly journey back to explore the mysteries predating humanity. In the heart of Australia, one might encounter a creature akin to the Yeti, the Yowie. This mythical, hairy, bipedal humanoid is Australia's equivalent of Bigfoot or the Yeti, although its existence remains a subject of debate among scientists. Descriptions of the Yowie vary, with some portraying it as a reclusive and shy being in the depths of eastern Australia, while others depict it as a terrifying predator. Standing around 3.5 meters tall, the Yowie is said to have prominent eyebrows, deeply set eyes, and an overall intimidating appearance. Despite lacking factual evidence, reports of Yowie tracks persist, and occasional claims, like a 2009 incident where a farmer asserted a Yowie attacked his property, contribute to the creature's place in Australian folklore. Australia's Giant Eagle Over possibly 60,000 years ago, Australia hosted the Dinis Gady, a colossal bird with a three-meter wingspan and powerful claws that hunted large prey like kangaroos. Existing alongside predators such as the wedge-tailed eagle, the Dinis Gady faced extinction due to a decline in its prey population. Recent discoveries, including 28 bones found in 2021, shed light on the life and disappearance of this formidable ancient bird. The expedition by paleontologists aims to unravel how these ancient creatures interacted and lived, contributing to our understanding of Australia's prehistoric ecosystem 
and the factors influencing species extinction. Beach baffled Recently, a perplexing discovery baffled researchers as a large metallic cylinder washed ashore on Greenhead Beach in Western Australia. The mysterious object, prompting police caution, stirred wild speculations ranging from alien spacecraft debris to parts of the missing Malaysian airplane MH370. However, authorities, including experts from the Australian Space Agency, clarified that the cylinder was a conventional and unremarkable object. It was identified as part of an Indian Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle launched in 2017, specifically its fuel tank. The incident highlights how unexplained findings can fuel imaginative theories, emphasizing the importance of expert analysis in dispelling misconceptions. Deep-sea mystery in 1989 and 2011, peculiar eggs discovered in Australian waters have finally revealed their mystery. The eggs, characterized by unique longitudinal ridges with a T-shaped cross-section, stumped scientists as they did not resemble any known shark species. Further research identified them as belonging to a new unknown species of deep-sea cat sharks called demon sharks, known for their distinctive glowing eyes. Deciphering the secret of these eggs took time, involving a comparison of a new collection with older specimens. In 2011, a dead pregnant female shark caught off the coast was initially thought to be a ghost shark, but a comparison with peculiar egg capsules in a museum storage confirmed it as a special shark named Aspratorus oikatu. Scientists are now reviewing old finds to avoid mistakes in identifying museum exhibits. Tasmanian Tiger the striped Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, vanished from Earth in the 1930s, hunted to extinction by humans. Yet this unusual marsupial, closer to kangaroos than wolves, continued to spark imagination. With its unique canine-like face, striped back and jaw that opened incredibly wide, it earned a reputation as one of Australia's strangest predators. While officially extinct, whispers of its survival persist. Sightings and searches, particularly in Tasmania, keep the hope alive. Though science deems it unlikely, the mystery endures, fueled by the animal's fascinating features and the allure of an encounter with a living fossil. A 2.2 billion year old scar on Earth In the remote regions of Western Australia amid ancient Aboriginal lands lies the Yarrabubba Crater, Earth's oldest known meteorite impact site. Geological studies reveal this colossal scar formed supposedly an astonishing 2.2 billion years ago, potentially ending a global glacial period. This groundbreaking discovery is the oldest ever made by scientists. To precisely determine its age, researchers meticulously analyzed regional mineral samples like zircon and monazite, containing uranium with a well-defined decay rate. This allowed for accurate age calculations through advanced mathematical equations and high-tech scans using cutting-edge equipment. Although Yarrabubba Crater has gradually diminished over time, its significance remains profound. Some scientists believe the meteorite's impact triggered significant climate shifts, shaping Earth's development and the evolution of life. Pondering what might have occurred without the meteorite raises intriguing questions about Earth's past, wondering if it would still be frozen without the global thaw that supposedly allowed life to flourish. Yarrabubba stands as a powerful reminder of the forces shaping our planet. As scientific exploration continues, unlocking more insights into Earth's ancient past and the role of celestial events in its evolution remains a fascinating pursuit. Beachside Beast In 2018, a massive tooth protruding from a Victorian rock stunned experts. Measuring a jaw-dropping 7 centimeters, it belonged to the Megalodon, a prehistoric shark twice the size of the Great White. Imagine their surprise. This behemoth, subject of seafaring legends, was about 9 meters long. The discovery didn't stop there. Returning to the beach, they unearthed a whopping 40 more teeth, solidifying this incredible find. This unlocks new secrets about prehistoric oceans and fuels the thrill of uncovering more hidden giants. That's all for today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting science adventures.